Don't say anything. Just eat. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> wait. Lemon <laughs> chicken. Lemon chicken and fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I heard cauliflower was three ninety nine a pound. You know what? I'm not going to have this. Come on, leave that. Yeah. Oh, Pop, they got roast pork. Mm, it's not bad. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You know what you're eating? Asbesto! Yes, sir. You Parmesan sandwich. Fuck you. Has uh, Anna chosen her caterer yet? She booked Villa de Roma. Good. Because if you ask me, Caravaggio's is slipping. I heard they fired the produce guy. Enough! I'm so sick and tired of hearing you people talk about food, food, food. That's all anybody ever talks about is prosciutto, cheese, and fucking fava beans. I'm, I'm drowning here. You make this pizza? Who we'll make it this pizza? We're asking you. This your store logo, sir? That's in my box. This pie was found at a crime scene. My pizza never hurt nobody. Come again, sir? You don't find any bacteria in here. Some kids broke into Verdon Day High School. Broke things. They left us there. Now, you tell me their names. I go put my foot up with their ass. It's got a long struggle out of them, that's for sure. Doctors, rehab, physical therapy. I think I'm going to have the medallions of the Fucking gun charge. I get sick when I think of it. Plus interstate fraud. And if Carlos starts talking homicide, fucking. Hey, For those who say Italian Americans eat smelly cheese and sip cold wine, tell them we're from the land of aromatic Asiago and supple Barolo. Spaghetti and meatballs, you tell them orchetta with broccoli rock. That's not much now, of course, but it's a pretty flexible space. Plus, you got the dog groomer next door in case your Korean friend wants some lunch. You know, they really do eat dogs. I mean, not all of them, but I ask him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Model, who needs it? Oh, come on. Turkey, sweet potatoes, pumpkin pie? You gotta love all that, huh? Uh, yeah, it's because you never lived through the Y.O. version. Major antipas first, <laughs> then soup. Meatballs and shkato, then the baked managat, then the bird. Oh, I, I love manicotti. <laughs> <laughs> Turkeys are here. Yeah, there's some in here, too. <laughs> Is that mine? Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Fuck him and his turkey. I had to shove a drumstick up his ass. You hear? Goddamn juice place moving in here. What juice? Juice. Jamba juice. Your boss went and sold the building. He sold the building? I got a kid in college. Where are my fucking eggs? <laughs> Fuck all of you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 what the fuck? You two footed veto. That's gotta be resolved. Gravy's good tonight. Huh? Nice to see you. Hope you have a pleasant evening. So having a full dinner, huh? I'm done already. It's good gravy today. I just want your undivided attention for once. Is it so much to fucking ask for a little bit of attention? Ah! Oh Shit. What kind is that? Brazilian snapper. Is it fishy? It's fish. You know what I mean. For pits I.O., let me smell it. Make a point. Change coming. Do 
you. What the fuck are you doing? Sil, take it easy. I'm losing my balls over here. This fucking moron's playing Hazel. Get the fuck out of here. He's on tree sweeping the cheese. I'm trying to get the, leave the fucking cheese there. All right? I love fucking cheese at my feet. I stick motherfucking provolone in my socks at night so they smell like your sister's crotch in the morning. All right? So leave the fucking cock-sucking cheese where it is. Here, here, here. Go ahead. Have a good time. I thought nobody ever comes to see you. I was dropping off some dandelions. Saw a beautiful patch in a vacant lot over by 15th Street. Nice salad. All right, there's the vacant lot over on 15th Street. It's all the neighborhood dogs go to piss. Marie, don't be so sensitive. I was being polite. It's like it's like eating red fescue. I'll take an egg. You want an egg? Bobby, make my nephew an egg. I am sick of hearing about your fucking restaurant. Shut up about it, you depressing fucking jerk! What the fuck do you know about it? Now you got nothing. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Ask any American to describe an Italian-American in this country, invariably he's going to reference The Godfather, Goodfellas. Good movies. And the rest are going to mention pizza. Good movies to eat pizza by. <laughs> Take your hat off. Excuse me? They don't sell hot dogs here. I will not eat in this house. Junior? Take me home. I'm not finished. You mind your Uncle June. She'll come back. It's Virginia ham. Go, go and get yourself some more. No, I'm full. It's good, though. You never let me feed you. He's not even washing his hands. And some bell pepper. And, um, you know the thing of... How are you feeling? Oh, what can I say? What's up? Uh, it's a uh, regat pie. I saved it from the open house. Are you wearing makeup? I can't eat that. It's got cholesterol. I made it with the low-fat cheese. Yeah. What brings you here? Remember that pastry place? Ferraris? Bunch of macarons. Oh, they're too sweet. You want the macarons? I don't care. Leave some out for the lunatics. You know, I read last week in the paper about this family in St. Louis Obispo in California. That whole family died of trichinosis. That's uncooked pork. With the nice duck ragu, homemade. It's northern. Oh, northern. Oh, I mean, this is really the last time. I am never coming back to this house. Is it true that the Chinese invented spaghetti? Now think about it. Why would people who eat with sticks invent something that you need a fork to eat? What the hell are you doing in my refrigerator? You forgot your lunchbox, pal. Why don't you just ask? I'm very sorry. I have a dream of that fucking Romaine all the way the fuck over here. Now, who came in here and ate my shit?
Nice sweet tea. Anyway, thought you needed to know right away. You, uh, gonna eat that? No, take it. Thanks. So, the look inspector's here. Having dinner? Hey, you. Have you settled on a... Tony, we're sitting down. Looks good. You want uh, cheese? Something to drink? No. Let's not get into it in front of other people, okay? Well, you're the one that Never said... mind. Just please leave. I didn't want to look at you. Mozzadella and carrozza. Still warm. Artie, we're in the middle of a family meeting. I'm not even here. Do you know who that was? Uh, I mean, well, I mean, obviously you do. What, what, is he a patient? You know I can't say. Mr. Borglund, they're setting up your table right now. Whoa. You got a prime rib at home. I'll be going out for hamburgers. What are you talking about? Randall! Randall, I'll follow you! I'm gonna call my lawyer, you! Fuck you! How's all that food the Janice prepared? Canned clam chowder? Go sick, goddammit. Janice made lasagna. It's not so great, but you need something on your stomach. Ziti. Karen made that. Oh. I'm sorry. That's her last CD before she died. I didn't know. <laughs> She's been wonderful through all this. Looking after Bobby Jr. and Sophia, bringing dinner over the house. Janice? She's a pretty good cook. Since when? Everybody stares clear of her food. Nah. She made lasagna the other night. Delicious. With sweet sausage along with the beef. I thought Karen's was good, but... Sweet sausage? In little pieces, and a layer of basil leaves right underneath the cheese? That's right. That's Camilla's lasagna. Fuck you talking about. You always think the worst of everybody, Junior. Well, fine. Enjoy your lasagna. Just don't come running to me. Mmm. Mmm. God, I love marrow. Mmm. Karen Seedy. Sausage, Janice? Oh, I forgot. You don't eat pork. No. In that way. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's nothing to get. It's a vegetarian. Bumbos, the birthday boy's favorite. Where is he? He's out back. Oh, good. Then he tried to pace his son. Hey, there he is! Hey, happy birthday to you. Got some seats for you. <laughs> Ross, where do you taste this stuff? There's nothing else like it. Oh, please, come never be your colored jokes. The sausage twirling. Tony. It was Rommel. In Czech Republic, too, we love pork. You ever have our sausages? No, no. I thought the only sausages they had was Italian and Jimmy Dean's.
Adriana. In the Czech Republic too, we love pork. Ever had our sausages? Salami sub. Hold the mayo. We're out of mayo. Change my meat to Black Forest. You will have our sausages. Get rid of these. Ah! Let go of me! Let go! Get a pastry box. Move it! That's better. Now fill it with cannoli, schwiedel, and napoleons. Microscope and I got a hair on the street. You shot some fucking civilian in the foot because he made your way for buns. Fucking poorly. Don't play fucking poorly. Hey, who's fucking welfare check? You got a cash to get a burger around here. Hey, shut the fuck up, your mama. Chill. It's fucking discrimination already. Why they send you over? I'm looking for a burger, not converted rice. Your woman looks embarrassed. Mona, give me a couple of burger baskets. I don't mean white like Caucasian. I mean a white man, like our friend Cusimano. Now he's Italian, but he's a Medagan. It's what my old man would have called the Wonder Bread Wop. You know, he eats his Sunday gravy out of a jar. Mmm, 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 that sausage, huh? Where'd you get it? <laughs> that little place in Garfield? Honey, where'd we get the sausage? That little place in Garfield. You know. Ladies, compliments of the house, Bucati Matriciana. Party, you want a pair of hippos to walk out of here? That's imported <laughs> pancetta in there. Look who it is. Father and Tintola. Why don't you grab a sandwich and we'll talk later. You will not believe the food. And that's what I hear. Although they'd have to be doing something pretty special back there to trump you two ladies at the spice rack. No problem. Mm. Wow. Which did you check out? Uh, the fresh basil really adds to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I'll probably get a little... Mm. Thanks. A little mess there. You want a little bit? No, please. Have so much home. So, how are the twin drums in Stay for dinner. Something wrong, Carm? Just tell me so I know how many steaks to defrost. Tony's not gonna make it. Well, if... Yeah, as I was saying, my real concern for Tony... Father, he doesn't give a flying fuck. You know it and I know it, at least for the foreseeable future. And then that's even a bigger reason He's to... a sinner, Father. And you come up here and you eat his steaks, Call this an intervention. Because I think you have this MO where you manipulate spiritually thirsty women. And I think a lot of it is tied up with food somehow, as well as the sexual tension game. Wow. And for that matter, if this is wrong, why did God put this man in my life? Is it God that put him there? Or is there a particular need you have right now? See, I never understand this. Didn't he put the need there?
Say when, senor. Gav, buongiorno, ven acá. Father, I don't know what to say. I'm so upset. Why? What's wrong? That's your idea of a good luncheon speaker? I suggest you think about who really keeps this parish alive year after year. As long as it gets sold, I don't give a fuck who they say. Hey, what did one prick say to the other prick? You see that? You see what happens with you cursing at the dinner table? I think it's time for you to start to seriously consider salads. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, get off my car before you flip it over, you fat fuck. Where's that fucking man to go? It's gone. There's a fucking tray in there! I was hungry. Son of a bitch. No, this muffin basket from you and your partners. It's the least we could do. Think on this, burger boy. You were gone a long time. How many White Castle did you have? I didn't, I swear. I can smell them. Oh, now you're gonna leave your low-life piece of shit. You know what? Here, take your fucking dinner. What have you been eating, steak? No. Oh. Oh, shit. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Here, Bobby, take this. I can't. Pepper and eggs. Oh, over here. Peppers and eggs. That's what I should have had. Pass me the red peppers. Good job. You all right? They're dropping like fucking flies. It's all that charcoal broiled meat you people ate. Nobody told us till the 80s. I'm kidding you, you old fuck. Did she put any more gook shit in here? It's not that much. Soy milk, this, tofu, that. I hate all that shit. Yeah, me too. Shut up. You said you like this soy milk. I lied. She was taking me to the video store. <gasps> fucking nosy? Eat your money, God. Who the fuck is my Rosuka? Can I just get some macaroni and gravy? Ma che cos'è questo gravy? Grapefruit you got here. Che belle frutte! You eat steak? What are you talking about? If you were in India, you would go to hell for that. I'm not in India. What do I give a fuck? Come down to eat. Jesus Christ, is that all you people do? The lunch we had with Jim a wood chip. What the fuck is that? Quail. A la buco. Baby quail stuffed with fennel sausage. Can I get aid from eating this? <laughs> Didn't I see this guy in the park this morning taking a shit on a statue? <laughs> what did you do to this scroll? It's delicious. Balsamic. Mm. That's all they have at Kings these days. Balsamic, balsamic, balsamic. My mother never heard of balsamic. This is a thank you for Sunday dinner. Some tripe and tomatoes I made. <gasps> oh we got to be the only two people who uh, still lack a tripe. Oh, my God, <laughs> Richie. Thank you. It's for you, for later, for dinner, for whatever you want to do with it. Oh, my God. The kids are going to freak out when they see this. <laughs> I'm making breakfast. You want some eggs? Don't want some eggs. Go see Beansy. Fucking paraplegic. Why don't you make him some fucking eggs? <clears throat> no more burritos or you're not working with me. <laughs> Put it here. Put that on the store tab. He says take... From Tony Soprano. Never misses an occasion. Christmas, Columbus Day. 
Have something to eat before I send it to St. Ambrosius shelter. And I know poor people are going to get this, but I can't resist the lard bread. Fuck, they got the fried zucchini flowers. It's fantastic. It's uh, stuffed with the melted uh, dry ragot. Yeah? Help yourself, you fat fuck. They good? Mm. You too? Anybody else? How about you? Want some? There you go, some soup the mussels. And Tony, you got the last dozen flowers. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a chicken vindaloo. <laughs> fucking motherfucking lugs. Mom, what's going on? Your father is sick. Oh, my God, Daddy. What happened? I went to an Indian restaurant. That is so racist. You know, maybe. Just had a consideration for it as you dumped those fucking muscles you gave me before you cause a fucking outbreak. Whoa, well, oh, Nelly. I handpick every piece of shellfish myself. Oh, yeah? You smelling them as you're picking them or you staring off into space worrying about paying your fucking rent or whatever it is you fucking worry about? Tony, you ate mussels? Prince Edward Island. Top of the line. After an entire Indian dinner? You ate at an Indian restaurant? There you go. Oh, let it. Yeah. 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 time for lunch. Yeah, set a plate. You got it. What the fuck you doing? Lunch is ready. Wash my hands. You just washed your hands. Then I tied my shoes. So what? I can't stand touching fucking shoelaces. Your average men's shit house is a fucking sewer. You look at ladies, Johns, you could eat maple warm and ice cream from the toilets. Eh, there's exceptions. But a men's? <laughs> Piss all over the fucking floor. Urinals jammed with cigarettes and more ball cakes. And they can pour all the fucking ice they want down there, my friend. It does nothing to kill germs. Even if you keep your shoes tied and you're not dragging your laces through the urine. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're not hungry? Have some burger. No, thanks. I got no appetite. Oh, yeah. Spoons. Friends, like us, Called him spoons. Somebody whacked a kid. So you identical twin or the other kind? Identical. Yeah. Have some meat. Don't it happen that identical twins, a lot of times, they'll die within a couple of days of each other? That would have been okay with me, believe me. Hey, look at this. You want to commit suicide? Tie your shoes and have a bite of Brajol. <laughs> What are you doing here? Hey, hey Gabriel has me down here for the gabagool. The huh? gabagool. Let's say yes. And your mother's meat delivery still is coming every week. Gabagool. Over here. Right there. How did you get Tony from Perm? How did she get her? I talked to her with Dede Misha. Do you remember her? Okay. Okay. Доктора говорят сервис-печени. Southern California versus Notre Dame. I swear, I got a vendor owes me 300. Shut the fuck up! Your wife's weekly order's all ready. There's got to be $30 worth of meat there. Got a cool chops and a beautiful standing roast. You're going to back talk me now? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, what I fucking tell you? Beautiful coffee scent. You like it standing with the bone in, holy? Look at those juices. Can I have the end piece? Mm -hmm. Johnny, let's eat while it's still hot. You bet, baby. The lady loves her meat. Four stitches, round dinner. What you witnessed that day, where the meat came from, and your mother's great pleasure in it? What was the only time you could count on her being in a good mood? When the weekly meat delivery from Satriali showed up at the house. Or Fusco, the vegetable man, maybe. Probably the only time your old man got laid. Probably. 
Pretty sick, huh? Getting turned on by free cold cuts. Do you think that your mother questioned why the meat was free? The meat that was going into her children's mouths? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't even want to fucking think about any of this shit. Witnessing not only your mother and father's sexuality, but also the violence and blood so closely connected to the food you were about to eat. And also the thought that someday you might be called upon to bring home the bacon, like your father. All this from a slice of gabagool? Kind of like Proust's Madeleines. What? Marcel Proust wrote a seven-volume classic, Remembrance of Things Past. He took a bite of a Madeleine. It's a kind of a tea cookie he used to have when he was a child. And that one bite unleashed a tide of memories of his childhood and ultimately of his entire life. This sounds very gay. I hope you're not saying that. I brought him some witness. So Russell Crowe, I mean, he's trapped, right? They're gonna sever off his head, and he's telling him how to do it? I know. And then he yanks a sword from that dude? Yeah. That was so fat. What about when the guy gets hit with that spike thing and chunks of his head go flying? Oh, enough already. Well, we're making conversation. I don't know what people are trying to eat. Thank you. It's fucking delicious. Really. Is this the pecorino? Right. The hell with heating it up. It's good like this. Now, this is the most crucial part. Oh, my God! You put the pasta right. back in the pot. You add a little gravy. And a little butter. Then, you put the fire back on. For 45 seconds, stir it up real nice. 45 seconds? Yeah, that way the macaroni absorbs the gravy. Instead, it just coats it. This is for flavor. There was an entire wedge of Jarlsberg here this morning. What happened to it? I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Carmel, I've been busting my pick all day long to bring home the money you're so concerned about. And I thought maybe I could have a Sunday and zone out in front of the friggin' TV. Because, A, you're right, my job is extremely stressful. Oh, my God. Did I forget to take that out? What's wrong with you? Not driven by commission. Call 1-800-7-SCHWAB to set up a consultation to check the health of your portfolio. And lay off the junk. Mm. Mm. I got pictures of my new house. Oh, let me see. Make a stroop. No. Mm. They are just out of the oven. Thank you. No. Oh. I really want lobster. So, girls, what's it gonna be? 
I have what I always have. Chicken Mario? Fifteen years of Chicken Mario. Can't you try the veal chop or something for once? What are you giving me a hard time for? I like the chicken. Maybe I'll have a steak. You don't need a steak. Christopher, hey. I'm Dominic. I know you don't know me, but, uh... Yeah, you're the guy who, uh, broke into Stu Lennon's that time. You stole all those pork loins. Yeah, but that's not why I'm here today. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that. Just stuffed artichokes. Those are beauties. Yeah, no cactus for me. Cactus? <laughs> you're not Italian if you don't like artichokes. Hey, did somebody go through the order to make sure we got everything this time? Yes. Motherfucking goddamn orange peel beef. Spicy shrimp hand roll, that's Nori's favorite. Special yellow tail, tallow scallion, and oysters. You tell me where you want to stop. Well, keep it coming. I don't know about you, but ever since we found this place, I catch myself fantasizing about this. Me too. Sometimes during sex. We're very lucky. $40 for a piece of fish they just flew in first class. I think we're more than lucky. You all right? Christopher, I'm fucking warning you. There he goes, Mr. Type A personality. We are here to talk about you killing yourself with drugs, not my fucking personality. That's right. I'm gonna kill myself? The way you fucking are you gonna have a heart attack by the time you're 50? Oh, no. oh. Wait, sit down. You're talking to the boss here. Seared ahi, mixed greens, and an iced tea, please. Philly cheesesteak. How's our steak? Okay. Yeah. Hun. Yeah. Got a steak stand over here. Rare. Coming up. Make sure you eat. You too. Me? No, thank you. I am eight pounds away from my goal, and I am fitting in that dress if it kills me. Jesus, can we ever talk about anything in this family besides food? Don't eat that pepper. When Carmine died. What? Gentlemen, start your engines. Jesus Christ, Artie, I could recite that menu in my sleep. Where'd he get this bread? The bread museum? Yeah, he passed. 45 minutes for some grilled eggplant. You didn't notice? Artie's game's a little off lately. Uh, Artie, you been to this, uh, that Giovanni up by Troy Hills? No, I haven't been. Supposed to be incredible. He's a kid, right? I hate fish, but his with the agro dolce. I'll take your word. It's a little too rich for my stomach. Still. It's okay. Just a bite. I think it's a lamb ragu with just a scoop of cold regard. Holy shit. And it's all so fresh. That fish with pistachios. what I tell you? Is that a beautiful fish or what? Oh, for huh? God's sake. He's a fag. First time here, try the Johnny Cakes. What's that? Pancake made with white cornmeal. New England specialty. And give me some of them Jimmy Deans. Uh, our sausages are made in-house. Here's your Johnny Cakes. I gotta warn you, they're addictive. They look good. Usual? Been dreaming of those Johnny Cakes. Can't be Jim's Johnny Cakes. That's Patricia. You mind? Go ahead.
Did you give any thought at all to someone else who might want to read it before you tore out the entire page? What? Motherfucker. Thank you.